Hey everyone, so happy Halloween. It is Halloween today that I am filming this, which also explains the eye makeup. I do not normally wear makeup this dark, ever. Um, I'm usually very minimal with it and very uh, neutral, but we actually got five points extra credit in one of my classes today if we dressed up for Halloween, which is kind of crazy thinking like, oh, I'm a senior in college and I get extra credit for that. But um, she's a young teacher and she really likes the class to be fun and everything. So whatever, I thought I would dress up and this was the makeup I did for it. So yeah, that explains that. Like, look at this. I was kind of like embarrassed to be walking across campus with my makeup this dark. I wore sunglasses. Yeah. But um, anyways, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing my October favorites. It is pretty makeup heavy this month. But I've been really loving things and I have been wearing more um, like eyeshadow and everything. So I'm going to start off with my non-makeup favorites though just because there are less of them. So I'll get those done and then get on to my makeup. Alright, so my first favorite is a fashion favorite. And I'm kind of sad about it actually because I'll tell you in a second. But anyways, it's these boots. Um, these are just a brown riding boot. And they've got a little bit of a wedge right here, and that's what they look like. And they are by the brand Abound, I'm pretty sure, is what it's called. But, like, where is it? If you can see, like, do you see that? I don't know if it's just because I've been wearing them so much, because, like, I, I have been wearing them so much, almost every day. And I'm not exaggerating, like, I do wear these quite often. But I just recently got these, and, like... That makes me really, really sad. So yeah, I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, that's my first favorite. I like keep, sorry, I keep looking over in like the viewfinder because I like my makeup, I'm like, it looks so weird for me to be wearing this much. But anyways, my next favorite is a candle and it's this, you can tell I've burned quite a nice chunk of it. This is the farm stand apple. I was actually just burning it. I blew them out, blew it out so I could um, show you guys and it wouldn't be like, burning and sloshing around with the wax but yeah this is farm stand apple by slotkin and co and these are one of the ones you can get at bath and body works or they would have them at like white barn candle company um i know a lot of the ones that they have bath and body works they have there as well um only they have more of a variety so if you're looking for some candles but you like the ones from bath and body works but you want some different scents i would check out white barn candle company if you have one near you because they're really good but anyways, yeah, so Farm Stand Apple, I've been really loving, like, apple scents. If you don't like apple scents, you probably, I mean, you wouldn't like this because it is very apple heavy. The description is, let's see. This sparkling orchard favorite is reminiscent of a bright, sunny day picking apples with friends with notes of Macintosh apple, pear blossom, and oak. So, yeah, it's very fruity scent, very apple-y, and I just really, really have been loving it. Moving on. My last non-makeup favorite, I have them all in this like cute little jar. These are Almond Kisses, if you didn't know. It's my makeup in it though. Um, so yeah, anyways, my last non-makeup favorite is this perfume. And it's called Forever Red by Bath & Body Works. And this is just a mini size because this, the fragrance actually hasn't come out yet. Um, so... Actually, I think it came out yesterday or two days ago online. Um, the release date for in stores, you can get it on November 5th. And I don't know how much it's going to cost. I actually asked one of the ladies at the store, and she said they didn't even know yet how much it would cost, um, like for the full size. So I think it is now online, so you guys can check if you want. I will link it below. But yeah, this is just called Forever Red, and... I think the whole point of it, all like the notes in it are like different red things like red berries and like red, like app, like all that kind of stuff. I don't know. But I have been wearing this so much. I mean, you can tell it's like all the way down there. And no, I did not get sent this for free. Uh, just want to clear that up. They had it one of the days I went in. They were selling these for $5 if you wanted kind of like a pre thing. So I I. I promise I paid for this, but yeah, it's just, oh my gosh, so good. Okay, so now it's time for the makeup favorite, the best part in my opinion. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll go ahead and get started. 
My first makeup favorite is one that you guys probably have all seen. So this is the Naked Palette. And um, this has been my f one of my favorites for a while, but um, there are particular colors in here that I have been loving. The ones that I've been loving are Sin, Naked, and um, Buck. I like to put in my crease a lot. And then Virgin as the highlight, so... Um, this side is more so what I use, not as much this side, except like that I'll use as a liner a lot of times, um, or like this, but yeah, so these are the colors though, and I've been really, really enjoying this. I love Naked as kind of that like best friend color, as Amrates would say. Um, it's just a really nice blending color, and just works with any look. I use that almost every day when I do wear eyeshadow, so yeah. My next favorite for eyeshadows is a Maybelline quad and this is in the color Give Me Gold and it's just so great for the fall time and you'll understand why when I show you these colors. I actually think I am going to do a tutorial using this quad so yeah. Okay so these are what the colors look like and I mean you can just kind of tell how perfect these colors are for fall. Like this gold color and then this like bronzy color. And then this one, the dark chocolatey color with like the gold shimmer. It's just, I will swatch these for you. These are what, ooh, if it'll show. These are what the colors look like. I really, really love this dark chocolatey color as either a liner or to deepen the crease. They're just really really gorgeous colors so normally for my base I use my MAC paint pot in Painterly which if you don't know I'm sure most of you guys would it's just a skin tone one um, it's got no color or anything it just basically um, it, it's kind of like the color of what a concealer would be it just kind of mats everything out so if you have like veins or anything it cancels that but I've also been using quite a bit this month besides Painterly um, my paint pot in Rubenesque, which this is what it is, if you guys didn't know. And it's just a really nice, like, peachy gold color. I have been really loving wearing this actually under Sin. Is it Sin? Yeah, from my Naked palette, and I'll show you guys that color again if you guys don't know what it is. Um, under this one right here, I've been loving putting that, and it just gives... Um, it kind of makes that peachiness come through the shadow and it just gives a really nice subtle color to your lids without being too like, whoa, she's wearing like crazy shadows. So I don't know, it's just a really, really pretty combination and I have been loving it. So yeah, my next favorite, I need to stop saying like my next favorite, like you guys obviously know these are my favorites of the month, like, okay, anyways, next product. Um, I'll share blushes with you guys. I have been going back and forth between two different blushes in the last month. And um, these were the two that were in my makeup bag. Um, one of them I had had in for a while and I was reaching towards the other one. This month I started reaching towards it. And that is Pink Swoon by MAC. And here I'll show you guys the name of it. It is Pink Swoon and I will have these listed below as well if you guys miss anything. But this is what the color is. It's just a really nice hot pink color. Um, and it just looks really, really nice on your cheeks. It's not too, like, crazy. It doesn't, like, go on your skin like a bright hot pink. I mean, I guess you could build it up to it if you want. That's the color right there. The other one is by Wet n Wild. So very affordable if you're looking for a new blush. And this is in Pearlescent Pink. And there it is. It's a pink blush with some gold shimmer. I have heard that this is comparable to um, as far as color Mars Orgasm. I don't own that blush so I couldn't tell you from personal experience but that's what I've heard. So yeah but I do know it is still a really pretty color and that's it right here. Um, and this is one of my favorites to wear. Um, so there it is on my hand. And yeah, this is just, it's a great blush. I think it's like $2.99, $3.99. So you really can't go wrong with this if you're looking for a new blush. So there it is, Pearlescent Pink. For lips, I've got a few products. My first one is the Vaseline Lip Therapy. And it's just the little baby thing. Um, this is super, super moisturizing. 
I love this product and um, a lot of times when I do wear this it's when I'm going to be doing a darker lip color because you obviously don't want your lips to be all like cracked and everything it will show through a lot more if you're wearing like a really dark color and bold lips so this has been really really nice especially because where I live it's been really cold windy like we're getting the after effects of like the hurricane so it's been raining a lot and really really windy and really miserable but that really helps my lips from being way way dry and chapped so yeah then I have a lipstick and this is by Clinique it's called maple or sugared maple and that's the name of it and this was actually in I just recently uploaded my like top fall lipsticks and this was one that was in it so that's what it looks like and I'll do a swatch, a swatch of it for you guys. So that's what it is right here. So I've really been loving this color. It's great for fall. Um, it's not too drastic on the lips. So um, when I kind of want more of a subdued color, I will go for this. And then the other one's kind of the opposite end of the spectrum. This is what I was wearing earlier, so I would have like darker lips. Um, I kind of toned it down after class since I wasn't like needing a costume then, but. Yeah, this is the Revlon Lip Butter in Raspberry Pie. This is one of my all-time favorite lip colors. This was in that video as well, which I will link below. I don't know if I just said that, but I will link that below if um, I didn't say that. And then there's Raspberry Pie on this side. So, really, really great product. The last two. Um, these are actually by the same brand. And does this not say it on the packaging? Did it just rub off? I don't know. Anyways... It's these two. Great combo. Um, the first is the L'Oreal, I believe it's Linear Intense. Like, it doesn't say it on it. L'Oreal Linear Intense, and um, this is the black one. And it's a liquid liner, if you don't know about this one. And I have the um, brush tip applicator. I don't have the felt tip. Um, I was watching Allison's videos, Amarique's. And she was saying she really likes this one and she likes the brush one better than the felt tip. So I thought I would try it and see. And I've been really, really liking this. It's really not hard to apply. Um, I know some people have said like the felt tip's easier because it's just one thing. It doesn't get, I don't know, the brush. You have to have a more of a steady hand. But this one I've not had a problem with. And I've really, really liked it. It's really dark. So um, I really like this. And then the second one is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original. I'd heard a lot of good things about this, so I figured when I was at Ulta and I needed a new mascara that I would try this out. Sorry, I'm talking like really fast. Um, my thing is like running out of battery, so yeah. But anyways, this I just, it is a little like clumpy kind of, I don't know, but it's not like to the point where it's like, whoa, spider lashes. It makes my lashes look really, really big and very very volumized so I really really like this and this is what the brush looks like it's a pretty standard brush um, not too crazy no like dips or twists to it but I really like it it's black and it's um, very volumizing so really like this yeah I saw after I bought this there's the carbon black one which I'm assuming would just be like super 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 black but I didn't know about that, so maybe I'll try that next time. But for right now, I've really been liking this, so I'm going to keep using that one. And I think that those are all of my beauty favorites. I am going to go ahead and film a non-beauty favorites one and post that to my vlog channel. So I will link my vlog channel below if you guys want to check that out. Uh, I hadn't posted anything to that in like a super long time. But I posted two videos this past week, so... Um, or like this week, I guess. It's, what day is it today? Wednesday. So I'm going to go ahead and film that and then get ready for my class. Take off this makeup because I have a night class tonight. And I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Have a happy and a safe Halloween if you're going out tonight. Um, or if I end up not posting this because I have to go to class and I don't have time. I hope you had a fun and safe Halloween. Um, please be careful. Tonight's when all the crazies go out. So um, yeah. Alright. I will talk to you all soon.